Still on differential equation, in the previous video, we've discussed the first two methods, which are by direct integration and by separating the variable. Here we, we have homogeneous equation and linear equation, meaning the use of integrating factor. All right, for the first one, homogeneous equation. What are the features of homogeneous equation? Whenever, whenever I'm giving a differential equation, how do I know that I'm to use homogeneous equation? Your first task is to identify the variable involved. For this particular question, the variable involved are x and y. Then, what are the power of the variable? In this case, we are having the power of x is 1, the power of y is also 1, meaning they are having the same power. Hence, when your variable involved in a differential equation, they are having the same power, it means you have to use homogeneous equation. And what um, the thing about homogeneous equation is that you are still using what you do, meaning you are still implementing the method of separable variable. Okay, let's see how it works. We said the first task is to identify what are the power of the variable. The power in this case is what? One, meaning you are going with what? Homogeneous equation. Step two. Step two, y equals to vx. You are going to subdue the value of y to be vx. Only for this given equation, we can say that we have the y over the x is equal to what? x plus 3 open brackets vx divided by 2x. This is the given the original equation, and we can rewrite it as this. Why? Because we've subdued the value of y. To the word vx that's the standard when it comes to homogeneous equation okay um observe from here if i'm saying y is equals to vx what can i say about this okay let's come back to this from here from differentiation from the techniques of differentiation product true given that y equals to uv i'm giving two function y is what given to be two function right now, from product true, I know that um, the y dx, or the formula in this case is what? U, okay, let's say the y dx is equal to what? U dv over dx plus v du over dx. Why is this a product true? It is a product true because I have two functions multiplying each other. And the function in this case is what? U and v. Similarly, from one, if I'm saying I have y equals to vx, I can relate equation 1 to this, right? Meaning, implementing product true to equation 2, I have equation 2 formula to be what? dy over dx equals to what? v dx over dx dx over dx plus x dv over dx. Doing comparison, this is how it works. We said when we have y equals to uv, the formula is what? u. The next variable, taking y as constant, u, differentiating the other function, dv with respect to x, dv dx, plus taking v as constant, differentiating the first function or variable, which is u. We have the u dx. Similarly, we have y to be vx. Taking v as constant, differentiating the second function, which is x with respect to x, we have the x over the x. Plus, taking x as a um, constant, differentiating v with respect to x, we have the v over the x. So what we are saying is that in homogeneous equation, dy, dy over the x can be substituted as v dx and we know that dx over dx is 1 meaning v times 1 is still v okay we can substitute dy over dx as v plus x dv over dx call this equation 3 so that's what we are saying to identify the power in which the variable involved 
are having, right? And the variable involved in this case is what? X and Y. What is the power of X? 1. How do I know it is 1? Because it is having invisible 1. X raised to power 1 is the same thing as X. Similarly, the power of Y is what? 1. Why? Because Y raised to power 1 is still what? Y. So we are saying that both variables, X and Y, are having the power to go to 1. If their power are the same, it means you have to use homogeneous equation. That's the first thing. Number two, subdue the value of y. Anywhere I see y in the differential equation, subdue the value of y to go with vx. That's equation one. Number two, um, we go with this. If y is equal to vx, implementing what we knew about product rule to equation one, we got this. Meaning that in the homogeneous equation, the y the x can be expressed as this. That's what gives us equation three. Now, let's um, do the necessary things and solve the given differential equation. From here, the y the x, this is the um, given question. The y the x, I'll be writing the y here as this. Anyway, I see the y here in this equation. So we have v plus x dv over dx equals to repeating the whole of this. This is the left hand side. Then the right hand side. The right hand side, we have x plus 3 times v times x we give us 3xv 3xv divided by 2x from here what the next thing to do is to do your necessary um simplification okay we have v plus x dv over dx equals to observe you can factorize x from the numerator x open bracket 1 plus 3v divided by 2x solving for that we have that x can cancel x then we then have that v plus x dv over the x is equals to 1 plus 3v over 2 then from here um, we are familiar, okay? Let's call this equation 4. From here, we are familiar with equation 4. We can relate equation 4 to separable variable. Why? Because I'm having um, the function or the variable, in this case, out x and v. That is, I can isolate the function of x from v. Or in other words, you can separate the function of x from v. So that's it. From here, then x dv over dx is equals to 1 plus 3v divided by 2 minus v. Your, this v will come to the other side. We have minus v. Okay? x dv over dx equals to LCM of 2 and 1 is what? 2. 2 divided by 2 is what? 1. 1 times this. We have 1 plus 3v minus v. Sorry. 2 go in 1 is what? 2. 2 times v is what? Minus 2v. Solving for that, we have x dv over the x. We are repeating the whole of this. Nothing is changing. Equals to then 1. 3v minus 2v. It gives us plus v divided by 2. Now, we have the function of x and v. Then what you just need to do is to separate or isolate the function of x from v. Then you can do that any possible way that you can go about that. Okay? Let's um, do it this way. Since I know that I have, I can, in the left hand side, x over dx, x over dx dot or better still, let's do it this way. Multiply both sides. Multiply both sides. Multiply both sides by the res multiply both sides by the reciprocal of x. We are repeating all this. X dv over the x times the reciprocal of x. 
1 over x equals to repeating all this 1 over v divided by 2 times the reciprocal of x 1 over x then from here then from here we can see that x cancel x we are left with the v over the x equals to 1 plus v divided by 2 open bracket 1 over x the next thing to do don't forget we want to isolate the function of x from v i'm not done because i'm still having the function of v and function of x here this is the function of v and this is the function of x so i want to isolate them i want to separate it then the next thing we can do from here is to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the function of v now if you are saying that the function of v is equals to 1 plus v over 2 then the reciprocal meaning f inverse f inverse or you say the reciprocal of v is um is equals to 2 over 1 plus v you are bringing the this initially this was the numerator and this is the denominator so it will interchange so that's it that's f inverse or the reciprocal okay multiplying both sides by the reciprocal of f so we have repeating all this the v over the x open bracket 2 divided by 1 plus v equals to 1 plus v divided by 2 1 over x multiplied by the reciprocal of v which is 2 over 1 plus v dealing with the right hand side 2 cancel 2 by time we multiply them 2 cancel 2 1 plus v cancel 1 plus v you are left with the v over the x open bracket 2 divided by 1 plus v equals to 1 over x right now from here what you can do to um finalize your answer taking the y the s to this side you can cross multiply by the time you bring the y the s to the sorry by the time you bring the x to this side then finally you have the v you have 2 divided by 1 plus v dv equals to 1 over x dx then the next step is to implement the method of separable variable and what we know about separable variable is that whenever we've separated our function integrate both sides integrating both sides integral 2 divided by 1 plus v dv is equal to integral 1 divided by x dx applying um, the idea of integration to the left hand side 2 is constant 2 integral 1 divided by 1 plus v dv is equal to integral 1 over x dx and by that we integrate this 2 lin open bracket 1 plus v equals to lin x plus c now I know you should be wondering that when, when I integrated the left hand side, why didn't I add um, C, right? Now, let's see this. From here, 2 lean, open bracket, 1 plus V plus C. You know, whenever we integrate, of course, add C. Let's call the integral, the constant here to be C1 equals to lean X plus C2. For letting like them, meaning bringing C together, we have 2 lean, open bracket, 1 plus V, 1 plus V equals to lean X plus C2 minus C1. And in this case, C2 minus C1 can still be written as a constant. As a constant. So, to avoid this stress, we just add the constant at the right hand side. So generally, when you have something of this type, whenever you are integrating, you are integrating the left hand side and the right hand side, 
Just add your constants at the right hand side. Because when you solve for that, you still have C2 to minus C1, which is still the same thing as what C. Okay, that's from log reading. Lean open bracket 1 plus V. The two here will come up equals to what? Lean X plus C. Now, I want to cancel out um, natural log. I want to ca cancel out lean. Mm -hmm. To cancel out lean, um, we are going to do this assumption that since you know that C is a constant, so let's say natural log of A or any variable will also be constant. So let me, the variable in this case, let me use A. So I'm saying that let C equals to natural log of A. Meaning that lin A is also a constant. It is representing C. Although, if you are going like this, you are correct. But to eliminate lin and for easier solution, you know, everything you are doing is you to get Y, the function being differentiated. So this assumption, you have to make this assumption. Okay, from here, substituting the value of C to be lin A, meaning lean open bracket 1 plus v square equals to lean x plus lean a then from here lean open bracket 1 plus v square equals to from log reading lean a x lean x plus a lean x plus lean a by the time you multiply it you have lean a x lean can cancel lean then 1 plus v square equals to ax but recall submit the value of y to be vx so from here we can get the we can express v in terms of y and x so therefore v when you divide both sides by x divide both sides by x it means that v is equals to y over x. So then the value of v, which is y over x, into this equation. Then 1 plus y over x all squared. This one, this is the it. But v has changed to what? y divided by x. Why? Because we are expressing v in terms of y and x. And this is coming from the substitution we did earlier, where we said y should be vx equals to ax. Now, from here, the LCM is what? X. Let's go here, X. X times 1 is still what? X. Plus, let's go here, 1. 1 times this is still what? Plus Y. All square equals to AX. Then the square, splitting the um, numerator and denominator, we have X plus Y square divided by X square equals to AX. Cross multiply x plus y square is equals to a x cube, right? Then from here, you want to get y, right? Take square root to both sides. Although from here you can stop. In some cases, you might not be able to get the function itself. But let's get y. If you stop here, you are correct. But let's get y. For me, how do I get y? Take square root to both sides. Square root both sides. It means square root of x plus y square equals to square root of a x cube. Right? Square root cancel square. X plus y equals to square root of a x cube. Right? Then from here, make part of the formula. Y is equals to square root of a x cube minus x. Then this is your final answer. So if you stop here, you are correct. If you stop here, you are also correct. All right. If you find the video interesting, do it to like, subscribe, comment, and share. In the next video, we will do more example still on homogeneous equation. See you in the next video.